Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat, Adonai. Welcome to the 6th Exodus program. Thank you for listening. This segment here is called Woe to the Bloody City. Woe to the Bloody Nation. The Lord is jealous and avenging God. The Lord is avenging and wrathful. The Lord vengeance on his adversaries and keep the wrath of his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. And the Lord will no means clear the guilty, his ways and his whirlwind and the storm. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and makes it dry. He dries up all the rivers. Bashan and Carmel withers. The bloom of Lebanon withers. The mountains quake before him. The hills melt. The earth heaves before him. The world and all who dwells in it. Who can stand before his indignation? Who can endure the heat of his anger? His wrath is poured out like fire. And the rocks are broken into pieces by him. The Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him. But with an overcoming flood, he will make a complete end of his adversaries and will pursue his enemies into darkness. What do you plot against the Lord? He will make a complete end. Trouble will not rise up a second time, for they are entangled thorns, like drunkards as they drink. They are consumed like stubble fully dried. From you are one who plot against the Lord, a worthless counselor. Thus says the Lord, though they are full of strength and many, they will be cut down and pass away. Though they have afflicted you, I will afflict you no more. And now I will break his yoke from off you, and I will burst your bonds apart. The Lord has commanded about you. No more shall your name be perpetuated from the house of your gods. I will cut off the craved images and the molten images, the image of metal, and I will make your grave for you are vile. Behold, upon the mountains, the feet of him who bring good news, who publish peace. Keep your feasts, O Judah. Fulfill your vows. For never again shall the worthless pass through you. He shall be utterly cut off. The scatter has come up against you. Men of ramparts, watch the road, dress for battle, collect all your strength. For the Lord is restoring the majesty of Jacob as the majesty of Israel. For plunderers have plundered them and ruined their branches. The shield of his mighty men is red. His soldiers are clothed in scarlet. The chariots come with flashing metal. On the day he musters them, the cypress spear are barnished. The chariots race madly through the streets. They rush to and fro through the squares. They gleam their torches. They dart like lightning. He remembers his officers. They stumble as they go. They hasten to the wall. The siege tower is set up. The river gates are open. The palace melts away. Its mistress is stripped. 
she is carried off. Her slave girls, lamenting, mourning like doves, and beating their breasts. Nineveh is like a pool where water runs away. Halt, halt, they cry. But none turns back. Plunder the silver, plunder the gold. There is no end to the treasures or the wealth of all the precious things. Desolate, desolation and ruins. Hearts melt and knees tremble. Anguish is in all the lions. All faces grow pale. Where is the lion's den, the feeding place of the young lions? Where the lions and lioness went? Where is the cub? Wherewith none to disturb. The lion tore enough for his cubs. And strangled prey for his lioness. He fills his cave with his prey. And his den with torn flesh. Behold, I am against you, declares the Lord of hosts. And I will burn your chariots in smoke. And the sword shall devour your young lions. I will cut off your prey from the earth, and the voice of your messengers shall no longer be heard. Woe to the bloody city, all full of lies and plunders, no end to the prey. The crack of the whip and the rumble of the wheels, the galloping horse and bounding chariots, horsemen charging, flashing swords and glittering spear, hosts of slain, heaps of corpses, dead bodies without end. They stumble over the bodies, and all of the countless whoring and prostitutes, graceful and the deadly charms. Who betrays nations with her whoring, the people with her charms? Behold, I am against you, declares the Lord of hosts. And I will lift up your skirts over your face. And I will make nations look at your nakedness and kingdoms at your shame. And I will throw filth at you and cheat you with contempt. And I will make you a spectacle. And all who look at you will shrink from you and say, Wasted is Nineveh. Who will grieve for her? Where shall I seek comfort for you? Are you better than thieves that sat by the Nile with water surround her, her ramparts, a sea, and water her wall? Cush was her strength, Egypt too, and that without limit. Put and Libyans were her helpers, yet she became an exile. She went into captivity. Her infants was gashed into pieces at the head of every street, and her honored men, lots were cast, and all her great men were bound in chains. You also will be drunken. You will go into hiding. You will seek a refuge from the enemy. All your fortress are like figs trees. With first ripe figs, if shaken, they will fall into the mouth of the eaters. Behold, your troops are all women's in your midst, and the gates of your land are wide open to your enemies. Fire has devoured your bars. Draw water for the siege. Strengthen your forts. Go into the cane. Tread the mortar. Take hold of the brick mold. There will be fire before you. The sword will cut you off. It will devour you like a locust. Multiply yourselves like the locust. Multiply like the grasshopper. You increase your merchants more than the stars of the heavens. The locust spread its wings and flies away. Your princes 
are like grasshoppers, your strives like clouds of locusts, setting on the fences in that day of cold. When the sun rises, they fly away. No one knows where they are. Our shepherds are asleep. O king of Assyria, your noble slumber. Your people are scattered on the mountains, with none to gather them. There is no easing your hurt. Your wounds are grievous. All who hear the news about you clap their hands over you. For upon whom has not come your uneasiness evil? America, if that ain't enough for you to know to turn from your sins, I don't know what else to tell you. Lord wants you to know these things so you can repent. That means from the from the White House all the way down, that you will have mercy. I'm the Lord's servant sent to you to tell you to repent of these things that you will have God's mercy for. He is merciful. But you're still worshiping these idols and you still think God does not exist. But the day is coming. Trust you me, the day is coming. I did not hear the Lord's verse voice until I became a cripple. Once I became a cripple, then I started serving the Lord. Because the Lord, when he tells you to do something, he means to do it. If you don't do it, trust you me. Destruction comes your way. You can ask anyone who left the Lord or did not obey his voice. That's why black people are here for 400 years in this land called America because our forefathers did not hear the voice of the Lord nor did they hear every time that they had been in captivity so we know when the Lord says something he's going to do it he's going to do it so America is going to be your time to go into captivity and it's coming just as sure as you're born it's coming woe unto the city